They're going to go after Zach Grinke. Now, Grinke's not going to make it any easier on that offense, by the way. You know, he'll flip up some curveballs there at a low speed at about 75 miles an hour to get upset their timing. He'll be tough. Hopefully he's on. And the 1-1 from Grinke is popped up out into short left center field. Overcomes Benintendi to make the catch. And that's how we start. Yeah, he's just going to pitch to contact right here. There you go. Right to third. Rivera throws him out. And the one strike pitch is popped up first base side right near the bag and now into foul ground is Dozier to make the play and boy Grinky just breezes through the top half of the first one two three nothing across Cole Irvin is who they're going to be taking on making his 12th start of the season told you how things went last time against the Royals for Cole Irvin pitched very well first pitch from Cole Irvin is lined to third right at Jonah Bride 0-2 curve is hit towards center not deep in and over toward right center comes Laureano. He'll take charge. And Ramon makes a one handed catch. They're two away. Now Bobby Witt Jr. going gap right center. And that's going to get to the wall. Three. Will Bobby have three? He's going for his fifth triple. And in standing up. Man, he didn't disappoint one bit. Takes that opposite field approach with his bottom hand. It was lethal in Angel Stadium just a few days ago. Same spot, man. You can run for days out there. And Bobby takes over the American League lead in triples. That was his fifth. Here's Hunter Dozier, the cleanup hitter. 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good change away. Dozier chases. And he's down on strikes. No runs. It hits. Bobby Wood Jr. stranded a third at the end of one. It's great to see Edward back. Uh, he missed 43 games because of the right quad injury. Oh. He bangs that one down the left field line into the corner. It goes and gone. Edward Olivares, welcome back. My, oh my, what a stroke. That's a four-seamer up in the zone where he really likes to place that baseball. What a shot to give Grinky a one-nothing lead. Benintendi, it's a line drive base hit into left field. Merrifield will jog into second base and hold. And the Royals have two on with one out. Triple to right center for Bobby Witt Jr. in the first. The one-two. And Witt chased a pitch down and away and strikes out. Change up from Irvin. Second strikeout for the A's lefty. There's two gone that leaves it up to Hunter Dozier. The pitch. Dozier swings and skies it. Playable and shallow right, waiting for it to come down, drifting with it and towards shallow right center, puts it away. Side retired, the Royals strand two, but they get the home run. Kemp, Bride, and Laureano for the A's in the fourth, one nothing Royals. And that one hit toward left center, and that's a base hit. Nice job of hitting by Kemp. He waited on an off-speed pitch and waited long enough to just kind of slap it the other way. Kemp running the one-two, half swing, Laureano full, throw down to second, gets away from Merrifield, diving in Kemp, a stolen base. As Laureano strikes out the third for Granke, two outs, the A's have a runner in scoring position for Seth Brown. And a fastball line to center, that's a hit. Kemp being waved around third. He will score easily as Michael A. Taylor lobs into second base. A two-out RBI single, and Seth Brown gets the A's on the board. We're tied at one. So the stolen base for Kemp is fifth of the year, was a huge 90 feet, and then a big two-out RBI single. Pinch. And Murphy. Ropes it down the left field side. Fair ball toward the line. Benintendi over to cut it off around second. Brown digging for third as Benintendi just throws it toward the cutoff man, Witt, and easily to third base is Brown. Murphy's at first. Runners at the corners for Stephen Vogt. Brown ball to first. Dozier has it. He'll underhand to Grinky and he'll get to the bag in time to get votes. But the A's get a two out RBI from Seth Brown. And at the end of three and a half, it's the Royals one and the A's one. And he'll get Edward Olivares to lead off inning number five. And a hanging breaking ball. Hit well, deep left field. Way back and gone. Edward Olivares has homered both times. He's been up tonight. And the Royals lead it two to one. He's been anxious to get back for obvious reasons. He's making the most of his opportunity tonight, batting in the eighth spot in the order. And the two strike pitch to Kemp. Is swung on line to center field Taylor is there so Kemp is one for three he scored the A's run back in the fourth ball hit in the air right side Olivares will make the catch for out number two here's the two two swinging and a miss on a slider away so Zach has retired seven in a row and at the end of five and a half the Royals lead the A's 2 one back at Kauffman Stadium the Royals lead two to one they have two on with nobody out Carlos Santana the batter and the pitch swinging a line drive base hit left field 
Dozier to third. He'll be waved home. Melendez goes to third. The throw goes to second, and Santana is going to be safe. Boy, Carlos looked like he was out by a mile. So a run home. The Royals lead 3-1, and they have runners at second and third, and the A's are deciding whether they want to challenge or not. But it looked like the second baseman, Allen, did get him on the hip. After review, ruling on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Oakland will retain their challenge. Missed on four straight, and suddenly the A's have got something going here. Two on, nobody out in the eighth inning. They trail three to one, and Tony Kemp is due, and the bullpen will start buzzing again. Kemp bunts it. It's picked up by Quas. He'll throw to first to get the out there. So a successful sacrifice for Tony Kemp. 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three called outside corner. It looked like Bride wanted to swing, but he just couldn't pull the trigger. That pitch from Quas caught the bottom of the strike zone. Right-handed batter, ground ball, witted short. He's got it. Over to first, inning over. Quas works around the single and the base on balls. Seth struck out his last time. Up left-hand batter with a lot of power. A's are down by two in the ninth. Line drive, left center field. Nobody's going to get it. All the way to the wall in the second hit of the night for Seth Brown is a leadoff double here in the top of the ninth. He struck him out. Trusty slider, perfect location. And you know, the hitter sees that with two strikes on him. He says, man, I better hack. Struck him out. That curveball slider combo, that's the curve. There's a little bit more break to the curve and a little slower. And it got vote off balance and out in front. So it's up to the pinch hitter Jed Lowry. Barlow looks back at second and brings it home. And a slow roller to second. Tough play, Merrifield charging. Throw to first in time. Edward Olivares with two home runs in the ball game after missing 43 games.